Chris here from Krua. A lot of you guys started getting the Sleep and Sleep Deluxe systems and we're so happy to get them into your hands. But we figured this is a great opportunity to just do a quick little video on how they work, how to inflate them, deflate them, how to roll them up and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna show you here real quick. Um, so I've got one here that I've just laid out from the package so you can see it's pretty flat. Now um, at the bottom of the mattress, you'll see that there are a couple of zippers here. And if you unzip one, then you'll notice that the valve is down here on the bottom corner. And right now the valve is closed and there's no air inside. So when I unclip this valve, and you might actually catch it in the microphone there, but you'll hear that the air will start to rush in. So, so there it goes. So what happens is when you do that, you give the, the mattress a chance to self-inflate, which it is a self-inflating mattress. But a lot of people might like a little bit more firmness or a little bit more pressure. I know I certainly do. So if you do, inside this valve, you'll see that there's a little rubber flap there. And the little rubber flap lets air go in, but it'll push and give back when air starts pulling back. So you just put your mouth on it and... And give it a couple of blows and you can already see that it's starting to firm up more and more. And of course, you can always do that to your own liking. Make it as firm or, or not as firm as you want that's comfortable for you. When you're done, then make sure that you snap this cap all the way back down when you're sleeping on it, and that will make sure that no air will escape. When it's time to pack up and it's time to go, um, obviously you just take the, the tab off there, the, the top off, and then you'll notice again this rubber flap here is protecting the air from escaping. So all you do is put your finger inside and if you curl it back, it'll actually hook it underneath the back here so it leaves the valve completely open and all the air can rush out. So from this point, what we wanna do is we wanna roll it up. Always roll from the top end down and that will just push all the air out and it'll get it the tightest roll as possible. So I'm gonna go up here. Now what I like to do myself, some people are different, but I like to tidy it because when I roll it up, I like it to kind of be as neat and as organized as possible helps get it into the bag, easier I feel. So I just kind of tidy things up a little bit as I go. There we go. And when you're, when you're rolling, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna try and get it started as tight as possible. So I squeeze as I start to roll. Now luckily with this particular product, there are no poles or there's anything inside. So as I'm rolling, I just use my knee. And my knee helps keep it down as I'm rolling and it leaves my hands free as well to keep tucking in on the sides as I go. Now, it might take me a second to get up to the top, so we'll probably speed a little bit of this up, but I'll see you in a second. Now that we've gotten our way towards the top, what I like to try and do is, again, I keep the flap open and I will start rolling to make sure they get all the last bit of air out, but that I can still see the, the, the valve here. And then make sure that the valve covers back over. Sorry, the flap inside the valve covers back over. Then what I'll do is snap down the top. Now, what that does is it will make sure that this thing won't reinflate on you. So you can see I'm in minimal pressure here and it's not pushing back on me because all the air is out and it's trapped in there. So then I will take my piece of elastic that came with and I'll put it around. And this just helps to keep it so that it doesn't pop open on you. And there we go. All rolled up. And it's nice and neat and ready to go for next time. And this should fit very easily inside the bag now. So just pop the bag over the top. And there we go. So, hopefully, Hopefully, that's just a good de demonstration on how to inflate and deflate the mattress. If you have any questions, as always, please reach out to us at either info at crewoutdoors.com or support at crewoutdoors.com, and we'll do everything we can to answer your questions as soon as possible. Thanks so much, guys.